Super Bowl champs for the first time, and the 12th man goes nuts as the Seattle Seahawks earn the Lombardi Trophy. Can you believe it? That's, oh, what's how, great. that's how we celebrate down here. And let's go now to Abby Gibb in Pioneer Square, where there are so many Hawks fans down there. Abby. I can barely hear you, but it is absolutely incredible down here. Pioneer Square. Uh, we can barely hear Abby, but we can hear the unrestrained joy that this city has been waiting for years. And I, what I said earlier today, yes. I thought that this victory exorcises some of the sports demons in this town. All that pent up frustration. Well, it is finally giving the team the respect that it deserves. And, you know, it's like the people who are announcing were so shocked that the Seahawks would win by such a decisive margin, too. Well, how many of you out there thought that <laughs> Seattle would win by 43 to 8? There are the streets in Pioneer Square, a shot from high above there. Hundreds of people in the streets. Let's go to King Five's John Langler, who's also in Pioneer Square with uh, many happy Hawks fans. Yeah, uh, Dennis, I think this is what it looks like when your city wins the Super Bowl. Seahawks, Super Bowl champs. It's, uh, it's pretty much bedlam here right now. Uh, we were inside FX McCrory's. All right, guys, enough. Imagine what would have happened if they would have lost. This is the scene in Pioneer Square, guys. Back to you. Uh, I think we, we have to give, like, danger pay to all our reporters who are live out there. There is so much excitement and happiness, and you know this is just the beginning of the partying. It really okay? is. Let's go to Meg Coyle, who's live on Capitol Hill with a celebration there. Meg. Well, Dennis, to call the atmosphere here on Capitol Hill festive would be an understatement. Take a look behind me and see. Everyone, everyone's just a little excited about our Super Bowl victory, and... I have to say the police are sort of staying back and letting this celebration happen. Uh, they are on, they are making their presence known. We've got flashing lights on every corner here on Pike Street between 10th and 11th and all the way up to 12th as well. But you can see that they're just letting all these people pour out of these bars and into the streets to celebrate an amazing victory. What are you doing here tonight? I'm celebrating the Seahawks win! How's it feel? It feels great! World champions! Where were you watching the game? Seattle University. You're Seattle University? Yeah. yeah. Why'd you come out here? To celebrate. To celebrate. Okay, thank you. I love you, Mom! So I'm sure this is a scene that's playing out throughout Seattle, throughout western Washington. Lots of people coming out into the streets. And again, we've seen the police really make sure that they are a known presence here, keep everyone under control, and so far, Everyone is pretty much just happy and celebrating right now. Let's hope it stays that way. Back to you. Thanks, Thank Meg. You, Meg. You can imagine, well, Meg talked to some young folks there. Can imagine Seahawks fans who have been following the team through their entire life, the right. entire life of the team, and, and what this really means to them. Right, and these are the people who are here. Can you imagine the fans who are actually at MetLife Stadium right now? They must you. be so excited. There's a parade coming up on Wednesday, Lori. Have, 
details for let's, that. Let's talk about their parade, the Super Bowl Champions Parade, this Wednesday, folks, from 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. That parade is going to start on 4th Avenue South and Denny Way and will end at CenturyLink Field. So it begins at 11. It's going to go to about, the celebration goes to about 1.30 p.m. Also, we've been asked about, uh, what about when the Hawks come back home? We'd love to greet them. Hawks are going to stay in uh, New, New Jersey tonight. They'll fly back home, arrive tomorrow afternoon, but the team says they don't want anyone meeting them at the airport. They're going to save the celebration, the big celebration for Wednesday. And my goodness, we all get to see the Lombardi Trophy in it, town. And, uh, you know, it was noted by the announcers on Fox Sports that mm -hmm. they, it didn't seem like a typical Super Bowl crowd. It was very loud from the get-go, and the 12th man was well represented in New Jersey. From what I understand, that the 12th man outnumbered the Bronco fans maybe 2-1. to one. So mm -hmm. it's no surprise that there was a lot of noise, especially favoring the Seahawks tonight at MetLife Field. Um, we are looking at a shot. Uh, over Pioneer Square, you can hear all these people shouting from from all the way down there. Uh, last we saw, John Langler was with a couple hundred uh, of his close personal friends. <laughs> He's still with him, right in the middle of it. John. Yeah, yeah Dennis, my newest closest friends. <laughs> this is pretty insane. Uh, this is what happens when your city wins a Super Bowl. Pioneer Square, the streets all around here are absolutely crazy. In fact, a lot of fans are heading down to CenturyLink Field. They've got a lot more to say than I do. If you think this was crazy, we were inside FX McCrory's when the game ended. We had some video from inside as the game was winding down. It was absolutely intense in there, packed, and the excitement, you really can't describe it. This is what happens, and the celebration goes on outside here in Pioneer Square. Near Pioneer Square, rather. It's crazy. Again, we were inside FX McCrory's as the game was going on, and the shock of the first half for the fans was really palpable. No one really thought it was going to be that much of a, a, a victory through the first half, and the second half was just one long, sustained cheer. It was really something to see, and that cheer has just spilled itself out here onto the streets. And this is it. This is pretty incredible. We'll go back to you guys. Thanks, John. I hope he's got his pads on, too, because that crowd is getting I, a little raucous I, out there. I think he's got a